happy birthday, dear G. Happy birthday to you. It seems only right tonight to come to Jean for the choice of bird. I, I would like the puffin, please. Any particular reason? Because he's nice and cheeky and, ch and, and friendly and busy <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Skellig Michael? It used to be lived on by monks and now it is only lived on by birds. Uh, and there's a very large colony of puffins and you can get a boat and you can go there and walk around and there's just millions of them. I've seen puffins at South Staff, uh, where there's the lighthouse just off uh, Holy Island, North Wales. This was one of my, um, one of my pieces for my blacksmithing degree, uh, one of my final pieces. Uh, so it's a puffin. That's really clever. Oh, that's all, all like hand-forged. One of the most interesting things about puffins is that the, um, the colourful bill falls off for the winter. Um, winter puffins are, are very dowdy looking things. The other fun fact that I like about puffins is that their Latin name um, doesn't really make much sense because there is a bird that's called Puffinus Puffinus and it is a seabird but it's the Manx Shearwater. Oh. I mean, who, who allows these things to, to take place? <laughs> and, um, puffins are <coughs> Protercula arctica, swaggering upright walk on land, buoyant on water with frequent dives with forward roll and splash, sounds very PE. Very useful underwater. There's a few um, zoos and aquaria you can go to where you can see the puffins swimming about and that's fascinating because they're, they're just like penguins really only a bit more top heavy let's get some notes d c g sharp a okay here's the puffin here are the notes <clears throat>
Very good and very interesting. Thank you. That was brilliant, Joe. Thank you. Well done.